Hello, and welcome to another DaddyJamesFilms.webs.com's video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to do an update on file sharing. Alright, here we go. I did a video a while back on setting up multiple PCs onto one uh, printer and network file sharing. Uh, and in this video, I showed you how to set up multiple computers onto one printer. How to get the printer, basically, one printer set up on multiple computers. And also showed you a little bit about file sharing. Well, there's a little bit more to the file sharing um, than I showed you on this video. So this is the update to it. I'm going to show you a little bit more better information on file sharing. Uh, so here we go. First thing you want to do is find a file. Uh, regardless of whatever file it is. Uh, I'm just going to make one on the desktop. It could be, you know, anywhere. It could be in your My Documents or Pictures or wherever you have your file at. Okay, and I'm going to name this Crap. Okay, uh, now with this folder, I want to make this available to all the other computers on my network. Now to do this, I'm going to right click on the file and go all the way down to Properties. And the next thing I want to do, I'm going to go to the Sharing tab. Now once you're on the Sharing tab, you can either hit Share or Advanced Sharing. I don't really like to hit Advanced Sharing. So after I hit Advanced Sharing, I'm going to click this right here to make it uh, a share folder and then once I do that I can come down here where it has permissions and you control control how you want other people to be able to use use this folder I mean the people on other computers use this folder but in this right here where you have a if you have it read that means that anything in this folder you can have it to be read only Meaning like uh, if it's a document or if it's a video or if it's music, uh, people can, you know, look at it, read it, watch it, whatever the files in that uh, folder. But they would not be able to add anything to the folder or delete anything to the folder. Now these other choices right here gives you the option to change it. You can click right here to change it, meaning that they can, you know, add or delete anything to the folder and then you could have full control of the folder meaning that you could delete the folder or you know change anything about the folder whether you want it to stop sharing or not you can have everybody have control over that but that's what most mostly all those means right there so anyhow once you do that you hit OK and then you hit apply well or you can hit OK which will be fine and then we'll close this out and crap is now shared as you can see right here now on Windows XP it's basically the same thing you know you right click you go to properties and then you know you go to your you know your sharing your sharing ta uh, tab and then you go you know basically the same thing it might look a little bit different on XP but you know this is a you know I, I first started doing this on XP and I went to Vista and it was pretty much easy to do it on here so you should be able to do it also your node sharing when it has like a little hand under there that's for XP users for vistas you got the two little people right here anyways to check to see if we got crap in the uh, shells folder we're gonna go to start network and here we go as you can see right here is crap and now it's share so anybody on your network will be able to go into this folder and get anything in that folder uh, right now I have it only read only so nobody won't be able to add anything to it but if I had it had it on for control or change people will be able to add uh, folders and whatever else to it there you go hope this helps well that's it for this tutorial if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them. If you like my videos and you want to help to support them, just go over here in the description area and click on subscribe. Or you can go to my YouTube channel and click on subscribe here, which for you will be subscribe.
another way you can help to support my videos is go to the first link right here and that will take you to my donation page and you can donate if you like you don't have to uh, or if you're not on YouTube you can go to my uh, website at daddyjamesfilms.webs.com and then click on the links button and once you click on the links button it will take you to the, my links page and while you're there you can check out a few other great programs on there that you can uh, get and then click on the first link and that will take you to my links page and you can donate hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you and have a nice day